What's up, ponies? What's going on, guys? <laughs> we are here with our friends from Spain. <laughs> that was Noemi. <laughs> Welcome to the Sacred Glow Art Channel. I'm Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal. And I'm Laura of Infinite Cummings. And we just came down from swimming in the waterfall right up <laughs> there. <laughs> Standing on it, actually, but the mist gets you so wet that we're, we're pretty soaked. <laughs> We are six months into our Unite the World First Hand Global Movement, driving around the entire planet in our 1983 Toyota camper we call the Yoda Home. The Yoda Home. We have a partner poi tutorial for you today. Our first one where both people will be using both poi. Let's begin. All right, so we'll begin with both people having both poi and wrapping it up in their hands just to start to get used to the motion. We're going to visualize as if the poi are spinning in circles, one person going in a forwards direction and the other person going in the reverse. Then we're going to play at these up and down stalls. If you haven't already mastered your up and down stalls, we have a tutorial for each of those on Sacred Floor. Be sure to check those out and master them. Here are the up and down stalls from a straight on direction so you can see what it looks like facing another person. You want to practice these up and down stalls maybe side by side just to get your timing down. One of the tricks with partner boy is making sure that you're both going at the proper pace, the proper beat so that you don't uh, collide with each other. Now let's have one person wrap up their boy and let the other person get used to what the flow feels like. So if you're starting in a reverse direction, you're going to first do the up stall and then the down stall. Make sure that you get plenty under the, your partner's arms as well as over them as you don't want to hit them with your arms or the boy. Next, have the other person practice while the person who practiced before wraps up their boy. Make sure you're really working towards getting those up stalls straight up and those down stalls straight down. And when you're ready, go for both. Notice how when one person's arms are above, the others are below. Mm -hmm. And if two is too much at once, don't be afraid to just practice with one poi at a time. Here's a little bit of a change up for us. We practice this enough that we can rotate at the same time. And so you can see what it looks like from the back and then continuing around. Mm -hmm. Moving in 360 degrees if you feel. Mm -hmm. Here's a slow motion to show a little bit more detail. I'm starting off and then moving into the partner trick. Note that you will likely hit your partner or graze them. If it's not serious and you can keep flowing, I highly suggest that you do, as it will help you to master the trick. It's like we want to be polite to our partner, of course, but we also don't want to be over uh, over polite <laughs> and recognizing that we're practicing flow arts here we hit ourselves when we practice individually we're going to hit our partner once in a while when we practice but as long as it's not serious just keep practicing keep doing your best yeah just brush it off and stay in the flow the more you practice the more you grow thanks for watching if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to come back for more tutorials on partner poi fans staff individual poi, <laughs> rope dart, Who the hell? an ever more growing list of props. To get yourself your own props, head over to the Sacred Floor website, sacredfloor.com forward slash shop. And if you'd like to follow along with us on the Unite the World First Hand Global Movement, search the hashtag Unite the World First Hand, and to collaborate with us, head over to our Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash Unite, Unite the, the World, World First Hand. Hand. Thanks, y'all. See you next time. <laughs>